You're right, guys. We're the vice captain. Yes, yes, we are. Oh, so we're going to be talking about blacksmiths because yeah. we did a lot of stuff on farmers before the farmers came. Yeah, out. we did. And in fact, I think we should probably do a video on how we feel the farmers are going as well. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do that later. We will. Just but blacksmiths. 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 Uh, yeah. They've been released in America due to Gen Con. You scumbags. <laughs> you Yankee doodles. Even though I don't really want to play the blacksmiths, I still want them. <laughs> he, he does. All the toys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a lot of people down in the UK have got their hands on it because of people getting stuff from Gen, Gen, Con, Con, Gen Con Ninjas. Yeah. And also buying from Americans who bought it. Yeah, I nearly spent 85 quid to yeah, get They over, bought it and then gone, actually we don't want them. After I spent 50 quid on tokens, I kind of lost interest in buying the blacksmiths. <laughs> All we're going to say is at the moment we're getting pity models. <laughs> In the UK. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You're on about Union Chains again, aren't you? No. <laughs> Sorry, so here we go. Um, how do you feel the blacksmiths have been looking? Okay, so as of recording this video, we've just seen Hearth yep. and Alloy. Yes. The fourth captain and mascot. No, captain and apprentice. What? Master, Master and, and apprentice. apprentice. I was going to let him flounder. Pairing <laughs> of blacksmiths. So, yeah. You've seen. Got... And what the hell were they thinking, man? Let's give out to a trait to all the players that weren't. Busted enough. The fact that Hearth can give out to Hearth. <laughs> he keeps saying Hearth, and it really upsets me. The fact that Hearth <laughs> can give out two-inch reach to players like Sledge, who you know the, their fixing point was one-inch reach. Yeah. I'm not enjoying. Sledge it. with two-inch reach. What is this? <laughs> no, Sledge was two-inch reach. Um, I'm in Anvil. Yeah. Sorry, I meant Anvil. Men is knocked down on one. I'll have two-inch reach. As well. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So now you're going, he doesn't even have to freaking get close. And um, Alloy, I mean, he seems pretty crazy. I, mean, I really like I'm Alloy. I'm going to start next to half. I'm amazing. <laughs> I'll have everything. <laughs> Go to school to go. Yeah. I feel like with the release of Half and Alloy, I never remember the pair. Because they're not like, you know, Anvil and Sledge, like, sound like two things that go together. Yeah. Half and Alloy don't sound like two things that go together. No. It should be Half and because, Stone. Because, no, no, because Hearth is like where the area... Half. Hearth is... <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be 40 minutes of him saying Hearth and me shouting Half at him. I can see it already. The, the thing with it is, obviously, the namings are odd. Well, Ferrite and Iron. No, no. Ferrite the namings are odd for Hearth and Alloy. But they are an odd pairing. Yeah, to be fair, they are an odd pairing. Alloy isn't like any other apprentice. Yeah, but Hearth is supposed to be like, can make any weapon, like, fluff-wise, can make no, no, any no, no, weapon. No. Doesn't make any weapon on the pitch. If you've looked at the model on the, on the she, fluff... I know she carries She more, carries every The reason weapon. she carries them is because she can make all she's of them. She's a weaponsmith. She, she's like a, an old, awesome weaponsmith yeah. who can make them all. And Alloy can use any weapon. He's supposed to be trained in literally every but weapon. But he's a, he's a ninja. He's not a ninja, he's an assassin. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, he is a freaking ninja. And I've seen <laughs> I've seen a lot of people say, Mist is more of a ninja than he is, and he wears a cape. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he doesn't throw out smoke and appear out of things like Mist does. He just kills no, people. No, he doesn't need the smoke. Because you look at him and then someone will go, right, I'm gonna move that way. <laughs> he's Go a on. terrible ninja, he clanks when he walks, he's covered in metal. <laughs> <laughs> look, here's the problem. His name's <laughs> Alloy. <laughs> There's no sharp consonants in it. <laughs> He's a ninja because you can't pronounce his name quietly. <laughs> it drifts in the wind. Alloy. <gasps> they're ninjas! There, they're ninjas! <laughs> Simba. No, they're Simba. 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 <laughs> oh, I've just renamed Senda. She's going to be Simba forevermore. <laughs> oh. The problem we've got is when. We're now <laughs> arguing about their names. <laughs> Here's the thing. We really were so excited about the farmers when they came out. Right, I was sort of excited about the farmers when they came out. And when the farmers came out, we were a little disappointed because we still don't have, as filming this, the second six-man box. I'm not that surprised. The first one only came out a little while ago. I want both. I know you do. You're only upset, and I told you this when we did the video... If in doubt, refer back to the video. You're only disappointed because Thresher isn't out yet. This is literally the only reason you don't like the farmers. I don't like Grange. <laughs> and Grange, as I proved to you in our game we played the other day, is stupidly broken. He does need fixing a bit. I'm going to stick a harvest marker behind myself. Can't push me. Ha <laughs> ha, knock you all down on one. Two inch breach. Also, I double crowd you. Also, more damage. Go away, Grange! Leave me alone! As he follows you up the table with his big saws. I'm coming for you. Get on the Grange train. Leave <laughs> me alone, Grange. And then just when you think you've got away from Grange, Windle out of nowhere. 
That is basically the experience of playing against the farmers. How do you know? You only noticed the. We only mentioned two players' names. That's the problem. Yeah, the the only two you need to worry about. Jack Straw is non-existent. <laughs> Harrow, people are just racist it's a, about. It's a, it's a, <laughs> Because they just go, Harrow, the whole time you're playing the game, and you just can't help but wet yourself laughing. The chicken does nothing except die and hand out harvest markers, and Bushel misses every shot she ever takes, even with rerolls. So the entire farmer's team is Grange and Windle. What's the point? The problem I have with is four Jack... players giving them influence the and harvest markers. The problem I have with Jack Straw is I can't get this image out of my head of someone seeing a scarecrow turn around to the cabbage <laughs> hitting him in the back of the head. To... The problem with Jack Straw is he has so much on his card and he's an absolutely amazing player, yeah. but he needs four influence <laughs> to get any of it done. Chris has been playing a lot of farmers and he's very upset by the fact that they don't seem to... Remember I said, reference this video again, I said the only player I'm not excited about is Jack Straw and you said, oh, Jack Straw looks great. He's rubbish. <laughs> right, look, Justified. Look, 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 he's bloody awful. <laughs> right, this was meant to be a blacksmith video. What this is going to be a farmers video. Let's, we'll make a blacksmith video later, shall we? <laughs> no, here's, the, here's what I'm trying to say. We were really excited for the farmers. Yeah. The blacksmiths have not struck that chord with us. Mm, I want to paint them. I think they look nice to paint. Do you want to play them? Mm, not really. I don't. Do you know what they are to me? What? They're slow masons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I can't get behind the team where you're looking at going, right, I really like this master. So I have to like this apprentice. Also, you know how you said Thresher was Captain Mallet? Yeah. You know Sledge is Captain Wrecker? Yeah. <laughs> no, if no. a shrew turned into a human, he'd be sledge. Anvil. Anvil, yeah. We're doing it again. <laughs> so, yeah. here's the problem. Masons. Masons? See, even on the... Blacksmiths. <laughs> oh my god. Those guys, the metal ones. <laughs> the the grey ones. <laughs> so, blacksmiths. Um, I like the fact they don't have a mascot. Yeah, but... We've, we've had... Um, I think they substitute not having a mascot for having three god or four apprentices yeah. on the table all times. <laughs> I like their playbooks. You just die whenever you look at them. Their playbooks seem okay because you look and you go, oh, seven damage momentously, yeah. that's amazing. And then you go, but they never get it. Oh, I don't know. When they first spoiled Sledge, that is the apprentice, <laughs> in the momentous seven damage, everyone went, oh, it'll be tax three or something. And yeah. then he'll have to be standing next to his apprentice. He'll have to have his master. master. He'll have to have two people crowded now. He'll have to have singled out down. Yeah. Then his actual tack came out and we went, what the, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets all these buffs and he can get all this extra stuff. And he gets um, Pile Driver, which gives yeah. him plus three net hits, which he gets for free if he's near Anvil. Yeah. And then if you bring Hearth, she can give him an extra plus two net hits. Yeah. So basically he already starts on five. <laughs> <laughs> he only needs two more hits to get that Momentous Seven. No, to, no, to get the Momentous Seven and wrap back round to Pile Driver again. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's... Stupid, but, surely. But if a stiff breeze comes anywhere near Sledge, just falls over. Like, <laughs> but look, we that's the trade-off. Like he's don't... he's like the ultimate glass cannon. He's like, you're dead, seven damage. Just one shot's mascots yeah. on the table, and you go, that was crazy. And then a mascot attacks him, and he dies. And you go, oh, that's stupid. Marbles counter charges him, and you just drops dead. And you go, oh, I see why going is useful now. <laughs> this is the thing. We want to like the blacksmiths, and obviously every time. Steamforge has designed a team. It's had a balancing act. Yeah. The yeah. Alchemists played really good conditioned game, yeah, yeah. but maybe they're not the best in fights. And a lot of them take conditioned damage. And they take that, conditioned that's a problem with yeah. them. Like, Venin's constantly poisoned, oh. and Crucible's constantly burning and poisoned, and Catalyst deteriorates. What you do is you bring a team that kills itself after four turns, and you've got to beat your opponent before they die. <laughs> that's the thing. But it works in the game. Beat the clock. But... With the blacksmiths, they've gone right. The masters are really sturdy. They're like stoic. they're like not quite as good as captains. Yeah. But they're pretty good. Yeah. And then one of them is basically a captain, so they get an extra two influence. So he kind no, 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 of no, no, is... but he can hold an extra two influence. Yeah, he gets an extra two max max. Yeah, but they don't bring any more. And they, they don't need to because they're really efficient across the board. <sighs> yeah. But you know you've got that whole yeah he's he can now hold an extra two influence so he's kind of is a captain because he can hold that five so yeah. any player who can hold five in the game as we but we've already before, discussed that the only captain that is worth having five influence on is furnace that's nice anvil because he can knock five players down no, no oh. only if you've got a half no, i said it right who can give two inch reach oh. to him. <laughs> no, who can give two inch reach to him because otherwise he's the slowest model in the game who can't get to anyone to yeah, knock him down. But he's two and three with tough eyes, so he can't be killed. So he's just he's constantly surrounded. He's basically like your favourite drinking buddy.
They're like, you're right, mate, you're right. <laughs> Dragging everybody in. You're like, dude, leave me alone. You just I want to go home. Knock you down, yeah. knock you down. I want to go home. Have another <laughs> time, come back. No. Anvil is a lovely idea for a master, but I don't think he's worth holding But five. with Sledge, he's really cool. Like, the pair know. is great. I'm, not, I'm still not impressed. I'm not. I'm sorry. And I know there's people out there who are really excited by the um, blacksmiths, and they think they're going to set the world on fire. But I don't think they are. I don't, I don't think they're going to have any more impact than the farmers did. The farmers had a really limited impact. Yeah. I mean, you remember that video we did where we said what we're really excited about is the farmers coming out and changing the meta and how yeah. brewers might suddenly be viable again and how the farmers <laughs> have literally had no impact on the meta. The farmers came out and just took bottom Basically, place. Basically, no, they didn't. They came out. If you play farmers, you win because you have Grange and Windmill. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you play into Ox. From what I've seen, Ox is the only person <laughs> who can bring down Grange and Windmill fast enough. <laughs> Everyone else just suffers. You have to play really, really hard. <laughs> Okay, what's this a blacksmith video? Or are we now just moaning about the new releases? No, no, no. Done. But the blacksmiths have the potential, I think, to be that team because they are way more stoic than the farmers. No, here's my problem. You know Hearst and Alloy. Are gonna... Half! You know Hearst and Alloy. Half! You Half. just said it! <laughs> Half and Alloy, yes, what about them? Are going to be coming out in the second six man box. Yeah, but I don't think they're the ones that are going to make the impact. I think they are. No, I think the start of box six they made for the blacksmiths. The fact that there's no mascot in there immediately makes a big impact. But I think the main impact there is they have three very good pairs there. Mm. Um, Anvil and Sledge do a lot of damage between the two of them. Yeah, they're they, they're a control damage pair. Yeah, I'll give um, Ferrite, Ferrite and, iron. and Iron. Oh, I always get the wrong way around. I think Iron's a captain, but he isn't. I have an issue with Iron. I'm going to go into that in a second. Ferrite and Iron are a really good footballing pair. You wouldn't think the weird, clunky robot guy. Why is Iron, <laughs> one, only two armour, if he's covered in iron? Because he he's not fat. <laughs> two, why give an ability that makes him one of the fastest sprinting players in the game? Yeah, he does make Brick look a bit of a fool, to be honest, a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, but, okay. I, don't, I know his master's a footballer. Moving on from that. But they're, they're, they're a weird footballing pair. In a, in a sense, yeah. And I when mean, she drops her legendary, everybody's a weird footballing pair. Yeah. For okay. a turn. So, okay, you could justify maybe making her the captain. Okay, yeah. For a turn. Fair right and iron, I really like. So you've got a damage pair, you've got a football pair. Yeah. And then you've got Furnace and Crossbow Lady. Cinder. Simba. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> she will fire everyone. How do you know? Furnace and Simba. Furnace and Simba, who... A kind of a weird mix of let's make everybody minus one armour and burning. Also, I can tackle you from six, in six inches because apparently crossbows can tackle. Yeah, but here's the thing that she can also do. She can tackle you from six inches, then drop the ball in front of her and kill it. Yeah. Kind of weird. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah. But everyone who thinks that's broken, they're wrong because you have to make a goal kick. And everyone who's ever played Guild Ball knows every time you make a goal kick and it goes you think wrong. it's going to drop to your captain, it goes 6-6 six, six and ends up on their striker yeah. who's now having a turn. <laughs> <laughs> can't deny that. That happens a lot. Or it scatters onto the one model who doesn't have two inch reach, has defence two and no armour. <laughs> Looking at you, Stave. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've kicked off to Esther's and it's landed on Stave and I've gone, oh great, and then Miss has gone, thanks, and I've had a goal. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what we're saying is, okay, here's my problem. I like the blacksmiths. I don't think they're going to be... I know Steamforge have to do a balancing act. They can't release a new team really overpowered, but I don't think they're going to be released powerful enough to make Doesn't it... explain the farmers. <laughs> <laughs> they just released Grange and Windle for the overpowered. They just when, looked at... When the other four come out, they're going to be unstoppable. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh oh my yeah, God. we've got a goalkeeper who's also really tanky because she's threes and two. <laughs> Who can hand out goal defence to they're the chicken if she No, 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 no. To Buckwheat, <laughs> who is also the best goal scoring mascot <laughs> in the game. Sure, donkey and kick. We're, we're doing farmers again. Let's just carry on. <laughs> that, that's my problem. I want to, I really want to like the blacksmiths. I just don't. Mm, I, I because like, I don't I think like they, them. They're I don't think gonna, they're going to be my team. They're not going to come out with enough competitiveness to take the mantle from. I don't even think they're going to come out with enough competitiveness to beat farmers for this reason. Every Facebook Because no one can stand up to Grange and Windle. Because every Facebook <laughs> post I have seen where farmers have played blacksmiths, not a single one of you has said that the blacksmiths have won. Ever. To be fair, not a lot of people have won with the blacksmiths yet. Yeah. Across the board. They don't. Just see, it just see, no, I think it's just because they have a really high skill cap. They take a lot of time to learn. No. And if you watch no. if you watch Shameless Plug, Beard Minis, yeah. who has been documenting his playing with the blacksmiths from start to finish he starts to change up his strategies and the blacksmith yeah. starts to become a real tour de force. Mm. And he's not running new pairs. 
No. He's running the original six. But I still maintain that the Blacksmiths aren't going to come out with another... And that's going to put people off them. Yeah, this but late, the players left on them are going to be good players. And that might draw people back, but it's like... It's mortician syndrome. No, it's Hunter's syndrome. Oh when my they god, it out, is. Everyone played Hunter. Everyone was like, Hunter's look absolutely amazing. Yeah. They've got a bear. They're absolutely ridiculous. They can throw traps. This is cool. It's Hunter's all everyone over again. Everyone played them. No one got them. Yeah. A select few stuck with Hunters. And tried to make them work. And they made Hunters work. And they became really good players. And when you play them, you do not understand what it is they're doing. Because they're making them work. Yeah. And they're counter-attacking constantly. And they're snared on players you didn't think could be snared. Because yeah. they're hanging about at the back of your goal. And the Hunters win because there's nothing you can do about it. You the think Blacksmiths the will get to that, that stage. When they come out, everyone will buy them. And no one, no will, one will get them. And then a select few people will go, I really like the blacksmiths, I love their aesthetic, I like what they potentially do. They'll stick with them and they will be the hunters. They will be a guild that will have very little changes because they already work. You know what? I, I'm inclined to actually change my viewpoint. In a year from now, I might like the blacksmiths. The farmers, on the other hand, when they released the farmers, <laughs> everyone went, they're amazing, they're a new guild, let's buy them. And everybody won with them because Grange and Windler are so easy, you just pull the trigger. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally, you put them on the table and just go, three VP. You don't even need VPs. to activate the other four models. You could literally leave them at the back of the... You just go, right, Grange will go. No, no, no. You He'll drop to... a harvest marker for Windle, walk off and put his assist up yeah. while battering the hell out of said no, player. You forget a very important thing that they do for Windle. They push him up the board. <laughs> Oh. All you do is use the other four players as essentially a conga line behind Windle. Anyone who pushing argues him up. that Windle is really bad because he's really slow is a liar. And they're because not he using gets him right. Six, he gets five inches of dodge every turn. That is stupid. And then he moves. And then he has a five-inch charge. Which is a five-inch charge with a two-inch range. Two inch threat, he has a 12 He has a 12-inch threat, threat range, but he's born. Before, hang on, I'll point this out. Before you add in the likes of Grace. Yeah, who takes Grace? Oh. <laughs> when I was playing Jumpers 2, the guy I was playing against brought um, Grace. And you know what Grace did? Got in the fucking way every time. Yeah, she's a bit of an irritant. But I'd say Benny for that exact same reason. Because throwing Harvest Markers out of Benny is yeah. hilarious. <laughs> so, that's a... Uh... That is a Farmer's Blacksmith <laughs> argument video. <laughs> in which we've established that the Blacksmiths could be cool, but the they'll probably be like the Hunters. And, and the Farmers are broken. The Farmers are stupid. <laughs> Anything else to add? Farmers are stupid. Farmers are stupid. And when the new box comes out, no one will use Thresher because Grange is stupid. <laughs> I might. You'll use him because you want to use him. You'll lose all your games but I'll because be happy. he's not Grange. But I'll be happy because I'll be going, Captain Mallet. <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree. I think Grange is so built for the farmers it's unreal. It's just so hard to put down. 26 health. What do you know? Give himself tough hide when he thinks he's in danger. Steamforge. <laughs> Normally I say don't respond to the community too quickly. I... To be honest, as much as I say, oh yeah, they're broken and crazy, I don't think they're really going to be changing. I think people just I need do. to learn how no, 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 to play think, against them. I think there's one thing that needs doing. You see Windle, take away Berserk. No. Yep. Yep, no. take it away. No. Yep, don't need it. No. Yep. No. I don't like it. It's stupid. No. No, because every time Windle engages one of my models, I go, fuck. <laughs> have it whatever you look at it you go there is no way I can survive this I'm knocked down you've got assist just have it no you know who does really well against Grange and Windle who anyone who can one activation a model Ox Ox Hammer Scalpel Scalpel's a hit and miss I think Scalpel can do it Veteran Rage it may be I think Veteran Rage can take it Normal Rage no he can't he can Red, no, he doesn't have the damage. He does. Three damage is the end of his playbook. The bloke's twos, no. You've got to take your damage first to get your knockdown. But he counterattacks and knocks Rage down. No, no. He no, does. No. He does. No. He does. But you're setting this up in the same way that you can't push Windle away with a counterattack. If Grange has got in first and knocked him down, yeah. using the same theory, yeah. someone goes before Rage. Yeah, okay. And I knocks them down, or Blackheart, no. at two inches, knocks Windle down and puts Butchery on him. Here's my problem. I don't even see the point in counter-attacking against certain people like Windle. Because in the game I played, the guy put a freaking Harvest Marker behind him, and had his Legendary up with, um... You have to knock him down. No, had his Legendary up with, uh, Grange. Oh, so yeah, he had Sturdy, sturdy. Yeah. and I couldn't push him away. I think that just needs to be clarified. I think, because I was always of the belief that you can stand on a Harvest Marker. No, apparently you can't. It's like nest markers. Mm, 
I know you can't stand on nest markers, but that's because it deliberately says in their rules that you can't. Mm. But harvest markers, I thought the whole point of them being flat was that you could stand on them. But a lot of people's ones aren't flat. Like the ones that come in the... Yeah, but that's people's custom ones. The ones that come in the museum on the yeah. set are flat. You know what? Argue it out. Anyway, that's what we think. And that's where we sit and stand and crawl and lie and cry. Generally roll around on the floor while Biddle slashes the hell out of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we are. So anyway, um, thank you for watching through to the end. Sorry we got a little bit sidetracked. Uh, so yeah, that's been the blacksmiths. Yeah, that's the blacksmiths for you. That last bit was just farmers again. Yeah. I you mean, know what? we'll know more about blacksmiths when they yeah, come out. Yeah, but that's how we feel about blacksmiths and that's why... And farmers. Farmers. That's so, how we feel about the two new guilds. Let's make the yeah, title no, of this video. That's it. Two, two new, new guilds. <laughs> right. Well, uh, happy? Yeah. Well, right. it's mostly been a farmers. Yeah, I know. So, blacksmiths, get your act together. We've been the vice captain. <laughs> we didn't actually say anything about half an hour.